All Praise the Space King. That is the name of the series that you are going to be watching with me today. I have discovered a new animated series from the folks at Flash Gets on YouTube, and they've created a Warhammer 40k parody called Space King. It's amazing. It is so funny. And this is their way of showcasing it and trying to raise funds so that they can keep working on this project. And frankly, I want to see that happen. So without further ado, let's watch the first episode of Space King. It's a peaceful night. Excellent. Excellent. Oh my God. Okay. Immediately, immediately we have a space marine looking guy busting through the wall, terrifying children. Also, can we just appreciate the fact that he has like Buzz Lightyear-esque um, bedding here, which just makes me think Andy immediately. All right, let's continue. Screaming children. Love the way that this is starting. Oh my. <laughs> run, children, run, but you cannot hide. They are just after them. Now, obviously, I assume this is for recruition, probably. If we're going off of the 40K parody lore, they're trying to recruit new members into their Space King Legion, perhaps? Let's continue on. Run, child, run! You can do it! You can definitely outrun the superhuman! <laughs> okay, I do appreciate the tubes up. No! Oh, come on! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a- wait- <sighs> Can we not be used for anything, really? We have no role in this, like, space society. You're just throwing us into a volcano. That's what we're doing with all the little girls. <sighs> Gosh darn it, I'll never get to be a space marine. Oh, boy. <laughs> Holy God. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Perfect. What a line. Holy globules inserted. And I mean, look at how big and globulous they've made him. Perfect. Oh. Oh, and now he has no memories and he's just an angry screaming man. Praise be to Space King indeed. <gasps> this, okay, 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 immediately. Immediately with just the just intense screaming that all the men are doing, these are just so beautifully angry Marines and I love it. Like it's just, it's so gosh darn perfect. Oh, I can't, and there's so much more to, to watch still. Let's keep going. All right, so we're on a heroic mission to find a captain. Is that even gonna do anything? Oh. Captain! Captain! Hello, Captain! Oh, I love the banner! Oh my gosh! That is so cool! Okay, alright, so we've got our captain. This is obviously who they're looking for. I love his big, shiny, candy-like sword. Beautiful. Um, we obviously have, I'm guessing, our medic with all of the white, potentially, like a chaplain or something. Um, but definitely, like, feels medic-like. Um, heavy weapons specialist, because he's got the big gun, a really big gun. And then there looks like there's a guy over here who's also in different colored armor than like the rest of the troops, but I can't really see details on him yet. But just can we, star defenders, the star defenders. Yes, I love everything about the scene. Also, can we appreciate the recreation of that classic Warhammer cover art? That's what this is doing. And I just, chef's kiss, chef's kiss, Flash Gets. You're doing wonderful work. Oh gosh, oh no, don't hurt the towel. I mean the fish man. That didn't seem to work. Oh, these poor, these poor helpless aliens. I love the Titan. I love the Titan. I like that he just roared and that's what destroyed things. He just has a supersonic voice. So good. Just, ah. Uh, and also I just love that it's a, it's, it's a, just a scaled up version of the, the Star Defender normal Legion guy. Like they didn't do anything to upgrade or make it look different. It is just scaled up. 
They get they got big. They just got bigger and bigger. Whoa! Oh god, they killed so many. Okay, we found him. Turn back on your radio. What? Oh come on, really? Okay, I was right. The one in white is a medic. He was definitely, I'm assuming, collecting the globules. It's okay, Captain. I just made this. It'll let him speak our tongue. Okay, so... <laughs> do you think he's a, um... Do you think he's, like, a son of Dorn? Is that, like, because that's why he's in the yellow and everything? Perhaps? Maybe. <laughs> I like it's just screaming. It's just screaming. Uh, perfect. <gasps> How dare you, sir? Oh, that's that's exactly. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> this race is doomed. They have chipped the space defender's armor. How could they do this? That is supposed to be, I'm assuming, impenetrable and unbreakable. Oh no. Oh no. The rage. It's building. Genocide. Oh god, okay, genocide. Yeah, no, that's exactly what I expected. I'm gonna genocide bomb the whole planet. While you're on it? You Wait, while you're on it? Alien souls on this planet. While I know it would be kind of sweet to wipe them all out with one thing. <laughs> We could use my translator device to interrogate- <laughs> Well, I know it would be kind of sweet to wipe them all out. I'm glad that everybody in the Space Defenders is on the same page of alien race must be wiped out. But first, maybe we'll talk to them. I like, I like this man. I like this man a lot. The Space Defender. Them all first. And find the artifact. Let's ask High Command. <gasps> High Command. You're right. Thanks, Aww. Well, the classic, really like, story of a captain coming into his own and, like, learning to trust his opponents. Oh, wait. No, wait. Never mind. Never mind. I, I lied. I, I lied. You're on the planet! They're on the wrong planet. That's perfect. That is perfect. That explains why they want the radio on so, so desperately. You're on the planet, men. If you ge if you genocide bomb the planet that you're on, would that not also genocide you? Wouldn't that be a problem? Maybe you should exit the planet first, get into orbit, and then do this. Like maybe that should have been the proper the proper response to this. Also, I do appreciate that he just like hitting the buttons turned his radio back on. Yeah, actually, uh, technically, you're supposed to be on a moon. I love them. I love. I forgot that there were actually, like, boys in there turned into men rapidly through globules. And so to see the, the mouths open up like that, perfect. Perfect way to display them. Oh, man. I feel like maybe they've fallen into chaos. I feel like they, this should be, like, definitely them falling to chaos. Look how many... Look how many poor innocent aliens they've absolutely- Oh my god! SPACE KING! I just need to call out right now. I love that they grayscaled this and made it look chiaroscuro like the old 40k art did back when they used to do like hand done charcoal drawings for a lot of the artwork in those early codexes and rule books. Like, the homages we've already had to Warhammer lore, but obviously parodied and like just beautifully presented has been astounding. I cannot wait for more. And like, I hope that this is successful for them and they get funding to keep making these because I'm already absolutely loving the crap out of it. Let's keep going. Cause I heard right as we paused some beautiful holy music and I can't wait to learn more. <gasps> Space King, is that him? You're in so much trouble. Not only do you- Oh my god, I love the design. Recovery rates of any Reclaimer squad in the galaxy. Now you're wasting precious Genobombs too. I wouldn't say it was a waste. 
Quiet, Hatemonger, or I'll send you back to your own legion. It's not my fault Bryce didn't read the brief like I ordered. Plus, who cares about stupid artifacts? We should be out there. Kraken heads. Okay, I love that. Okay, so this is like a, a Death Watch squad then, because they're all from different legions that explains all the different armor. So he may, I mean, he's still definitely a medic. Look, he's got like a, a container here. So he's definitely your apothecary. So we have Hatemonger here, who I'm assuming is probably from like Iron Hands or something like that. And then I feel like he's a mix between like Dorn and maybe Salamanders. Because Salamanders like craft things a lot right because they're they're all about the forge and like i thought they were but maybe maybe i'm wrong but i feel like that's kind of where he's leaning and then here obviously we have like a ultramarine blood angel mix a little bit but just oh, our cast they're beautiful i also Finding really space like King. Space yes King this giant <laughs> this giant servitor head i'm assuming this is like meant to be um uh, I guess just like the Mechanicus in general, perhaps, is who this is supposed to represent. But like, regardless, I love it. I love it. Well, we've proven our worth. It's no wonder Space King left. Hell, I would have left too if I had you as my sons going around the galaxy. Oh no. What ails you, my son? Space King. Is that all you want from me, Space King? To retrieve artifacts? No. That's oh. retarded. You should oh. be out there, cracking heads, finding Space King. I have a deep purpose for I you. I mean, my if son. Space King says to Otherwise, find him. Otherwise, why would I speak to you and only you? You're a good boy, and the translator device was a really great idea. Okay, so okay, all right, all right. So they're all hallucinating Space King talking to them because they all have daddy issues. Perfect. Perfect. Also, look at his precious smile in his robot eye. Ah, I and love I'll it. I get you a castle <gasps> made of hate where no one can question you. Okay, so hate monger. Oh my gosh. You look at him. He's crying up. <gasps> oh no, no. Oh no. Why? Okay, your classic space marine who just constantly thinks he's unworthy of like a space king ever. <sighs> I'm so sad for my apothecary, bro. I love apothecaries. Why is he the sad one? <laughs> Why? Are you listening? I said no, you're none of them were listening. From genocide. God, that's so unfair. <laughs> so unfair. And seeing as the entire Star Defender Legion is deployed to the wrong planet, guess who's gonna be scouring the moon for the artifacts? So okay, that's interesting. How actually, am I supposed to search? That's the entire Legion. So it's not that big. The Legion's not that big. Like, if, if everybody was on that planet, like, the entire, all of them, all the Star Defenders were on that one planet. I mean, there were a lot of them, but it's not, like, an insurmountable, insurmountable amount. Okay, let's, let's keep going. with just my retard squad. I don't know. Use your brain. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I don't know if he, he's capable of that. <gasps> oh, I love their ships. God, this sucks. Oh, there it is. Space King! Ow! Why is the artifact glowing like that? Rather, it's no mere artifact. That item is the divinity of Space King. The divinity of it's Space King? A piece of his soul. <gasps> Maybe that could lead us to him. It could oh lead us gosh. to Space King? What are we waiting for? Run away. No, wait, you fool! Alien in here. It's okay. We'll just kill him. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I guess that is the correct attitude to have. Oh boy. Yeah, Tyranids? Finally. Oh. I have waited millennia. Yes. Yes! It's not Tyranids at all. I mean, it's actually kind of a mix of Tyranids and Slanesh. We've got a Hive Queen, quite literally, it seems like. Um, I approve of everything about her. She is wonderful. Angela's stamp of approval. 
Also, she's been hanging out here for a millennia. Isn't this kind of like when Fulgrim and like came down and was dealing with, oh, what was the Dreadnought's name? There was a book. I don't remember what it is specifically, but I remember there's like, I remember hearing about it. And this was, that's what this gives me the vibes of. That's completely what this gives me the vibes of. Space King stole energy is mine. Lest you meet my demands. God damn. God damn it. Not so fast. Witness my power. Oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> oh my. Uh, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. 100% approve of staring, 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 does not give a fuck. He's like, what brothers? Brothers, brothers! What are you doing oogling the lady? No, 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 no. We must be slaying the alien! Oh, he saved them! Amazing. I like that she's got boob lasers. Can we appreciate the boob lasers? She's an alien. Okay, so hey, Bob is gay, which means he'll be able to okay. avoid her not gay. <laughs> I just hate aliens. <laughs> I, I hate mean, aliens. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Please wait. Please excuse me. Hold on. Wait. Um. Is it like it's it's got to be like right here, right? Come on. Yes. <laughs> I hope someone on the internet has gift this so that I can use it on Twitter, because again, I think this will be the third chef's kiss. I love this. It's so good. <laughs> She's still gonna die. So like, calm down, Hamburger. Calm down. We can appreciate the boobs and then murder her. If we kill her while his soul is in her body, wouldn't that also be like killing him ourselves? Oh no. Hamburger, are you are you suggesting we can't kill the alien? The horror of every space defender and space marine for that matter, being unable to kill the alien or the heretic my goodness what will they do i didn't want to have to blast you little star defender Aww. i just want to talk i Look, she just wants to talk we all saw the raw power of her mechanics the I raw power she's gonna have to negotiate guys because <gasps> she does seem pretty cool and intelligent for an alien ta-da ta-da <laughs> No, there's a plan. <laughs> this entire sequence I have arms. loved. Surely Space King won't mind if we kill just a couple arms worth of him. I mean, you know what? That's that's a fair point. That's a pretty darn fair point. So Bryce and I are tripped by a crap tits and can go to work. Oh my god, I love this. I wanna go too. Let's go! Oh, why can't Chestnut go? Why is everybody so mean to Chestnut? Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Well, Hatemonger is um, bit in the dust. His uh, his ability to not get entranced by the alien titties appears to not have saved him from them being still lasers and just going everywhere. Whoops! Go back! Go back! Go back! Oh no! Are more of them gonna die? Oh oh oh! There he is. Maybe we do need to negotiate. Gino Bond denied. I <laughs> love it. Yes. I mean, he did say he was cut off, right? <gasps> oh, he has I know a you hate him. me and my innovative ideas. <clears throat> but I was totally right. We can't blast our way out of this one. You got to at least see what she wants. Tick. Tick. I actually think that was pretty spot on to her voice. Um, should I be a voice actor? No, absolutely not. I don't think I could maintain that. Um, I love the amount of tragedy and drama that has happened in this 10 minutes worth of animation that we have watched so far. It has just been so good. 
And I just, I appreciate her design. Her design is so good. Talk, Star Defender! <laughs> Gino bomb denied. Fine. I don't hate you, Bryce. <gasps> I just think you're stupid. Oh. <laughs> oh. But. Okay. Maybe not this time. Oh, yes. And maybe if I'd stop to listen and nurture that occasionally, you would be less yes. stupider. Yes. Oh, less. Eventually. Well, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. I think somebody needs to work on their grammar. Wait! You'll need this. It's probably the only way you'll be able to untangle her complicated emotions. Okay. That's legit, though. Like, that might be the only way for him to untangle her complicated emotions as a female alien species. Will he use it? Let's find out. Oh, he actually Thanks, did it. Bryce. I'll see you again. Oh, Captain, my Captain. <gasps> One of my favorite movies! Although, I will admit, this does not hit quite as hard as, as in, that, in that movie, in Dead Poet Society. Oh, oh, come on! He's not even gonna use it? <sighs> I mean, I guess they can technically already talk to her, so it makes sense, but like... Bro! I've come to negotiate. Your negotiate. Your of my race will near extinction once. Oh. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> I understand. Your kind has always been the primary food source for mine. Okay, that makes sense. Conflict was inevitable, but Space King pushed us back. And so, we had to switch to a nutritious diet of fruits and berries and find another dimension to live in peace. I mean, okay, okay, okay. okay. So, so, th like, these Tyranids are chill. They've, they've stopped eating meat, human meat specifically, apparently, and have switched over to, you know, some nice berry and, and you know, vegetable-based diet. Um, and this poor woman, she just, she just got stuck. She just got left. She just, she's just trying to get home. She's just trying to get home. Is that I so wrong? I could join my kin and have been trapped here for 3,000 years. Wow. Wait. Oh my God, please get to the port. I wish to be with my kin. I cannot open fair, the fair portal enough. to their dimension. My purpose are too weak to make the journey. Oh my God, I they are, the they are adorable. <laughs> of course they do. Of course they do. Um, look how cute they are. I just want to snuggle all of them. All right. They probably murder me. Let's and be as fair. you can see from my severely depleted breasts. Oh, not so severely not enough to fill them. Severely depleted. All huh? I ask, Star Defender, is you give me a snack from your globulus, <gasps> so I may replenish my milk and take my babies to be with my kin. Heresy! Heresy! Oh, nutritious enough. You said you've come to negotiate. Please. It's for my children. For her children, man! It's for her children! Oh, look how cute they are! They got little hearts in their eyes! <laughs> Stare. If I do this, you'll return Space King's soul energy. Okay. Yes. He's willing to negotiate. Uh, just not. Give me the Globulus. But... I'm supposed to protect them. It's for Space King Chestnut. For Space King Chestnut, give up the globulus. It's your call. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Before, before you gobble that up, before you, before you gobble that up, please allow me to. Zavery, 9'2", 895 pounds, enjoys lifting heavy objects and shooting birds with his standard issue Psycho Blaster. All right, so we've learned that their weapons are called Psycho Blasters. Um, his last birth was in 142 or 1342. I don't know. It looks like there's the dots, so it looks like it's time, but I'm not 100% 100 sure. Or is that an eight? Is it 842? Whatever. The, the, he's, he hasn't been alive for a while. Look, look at him. He's so angry. 
in that globule. But his, his expression here is so happy. Um, perfect. This is this is this is canon and accepted. Mm. And she just gobbles it right up. Yup. <laughs> she enjoyed it too. Thank you, Star Defender. Thank you. Just quickly feed the kids, and I'll be out of your hair. Oh well, I mean, you know what? She is a lady of her word. She put the soul right back. Apparently, she doesn't need that power at all to get to her dimension. She just needed a globule. Kaboom. Kaboom. Wait, wait, wait. Was that the grenade that made that noise? I'm sure Space King is proud of us. Yep, definitely. Mm -hmm. There was no other way. Maybe he'll send us a set. Oh my god! Look out! <laughs> Oh! <gasps> no! Oh, Space King! Well, uh, he's broken. She's dead. Oh, shit! God damn. That was unexpected. I did not expect the captain to die. Um, you know what? Chestnut is the sole survivor because he is the best boy. But Oh, he's gonna collect more globules. It's fine. They're gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> yes. Praise be to space. I love the bored expression of, oh gosh. Polyglobule extraction in Sacred membrane obstruction detected. <laughs> Sacred membrane obstruction detected. Extract holy globules. Yes. Place a delicate Perfect. yet religious pinch around the tip <laughs> of sacred membrane. Place a delicate yet <laughs> No. What was that? I'm sorry. What was that? Place a delicate. Place a delicate yet religious pinch around the tip of the sacred member. <laughs> I appreciate the very crass humor of this animation. It is brilliant. <laughs> oh, the poor man. Praise be to you. <gasps> Oh, he's he's got a weak stomach. Boy, I sure hope me and the boys here can find you someday, Space King. I hope. I love the fact that it seems like what's gonna happen is we're just gonna keep getting these boys over and over. Oh my god, I love those drawings. Tired of all your media being filled with the lamest shit possible? Yes. Want a show that doesn't hate your male power fantasies, but embraces them? Yes! There's oh. plenty of independent animation targeted at mentally ill teenage girls. I mean, what that's true. That's accurate. Teenage boys yeah, what about them? And yeah, what about us? Us 30-year-old men? Tell them about the boobies. The boobies? Yes, that's right. What you just saw was the clean version of the video. There exists another version. Oh, oh shit, no way. The version. The true version. And maybe the last episode of Space King we ever make. <gasps> no! But the because boobies! We're not willing to sell the show to Hollywood for them to turn into dog shit like everything else. Uh, so okay, then that's valid. Support us on Patreon, <laughs> and we'll turn every dollar to making more episodes of Space King, untouched and uncensored. Yes! And in yes! return, we'll give you goodies, gifts, rewards, trinkets, production Ooh. updates, and most importantly, more Space King. More we cannot Space find King! More episodes without you. Link in the description. All right, well, that has been Space King by Flash Gets. And like you heard them say, if you want to support this, you want to get more Space King, then honestly, I, I would encourage you to go support them and join their Patreon and get all the goodies and, and get the boobies. Get to see the boobies. That's always fun, right? I just have to say that this is genuinely spectacular. I do hope that Flash Gets gets the funding that they need to continue Space King because the animation, the crass humor, the just like 
amazing parody that this is of Warhammer 40k, I think is brilliant. It's so much fun. And I, I miss this kind of humor and not taking everything so gosh darn seriously about Warhammer. So seeing this alternative to give me that flash of just absolute hilarity in my life and about the franchises that I love, I am so into. So thank you to Flash Gets for making this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me and do make sure to support them if you're interested in seeing the boobies.